Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you that are new, hi, welcome. My name is Jackie, and for those of you that are returning, welcome back. I'm so excited for today's video. I feel like I'm always excited about a video on my channel, but I just love creating content, and I love putting videos up, and even if nobody watches them, I just really enjoy that. <laughs> um, but today is a really fun video because a lot of you, I guess, that don't know me wouldn't know. Uh, so it's the Latina tag, and I am Latina. I'm Latina. <laughs> um, and I really wanted to do this video just kind of like a little chit chat, get to know me. And is my camera cooking? Yeah, I really just wanted it to be really casual, fun, just one to one, and just a video to kind of take our mind off of what's going on. I don't really want to talk much about it because I know that whenever I go and view vi other videos, I try to go and just like take my mind off of things. So for today's video, uh, it's going to be a fun one. I recommend you to get a snack, you know, a little drink or something and let's just chat. I'm going to actually have my rosé um, and it's just going to be like a chatty fun video. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I was actually inspired by Natalie Munoz, um, you guys know I'm a big fan of her channel and I saw her do this tag, so I'm going to use some of the questions that she actually used. And so we're going to start off with question number one. So for those of you that, are don't, that don't know, I was raised in a small border town in Texas by the name of Presidio, Texas and my mom is from Ojinaga, Texas and my dad is from Presidio. So I actually was raised in Presidio, but I have my mom's side of the family in Ojinaga and it's literally right across the border. So growing up, we would always, you know, hang out in Mexico with my cousins, with my grandparents. And then we also had our other grandparents in Texas at Presidio. So anyways, long story short, I am Mexicana um, and yeah. <laughs> Yes, a lot of people get really surprised whenever they find out that I speak Spanish. Um, a big thing is, I feel like my last name doesn't really give off that I am Hispanic. Um, my last name is Spencer, but it really just comes from generation, um, from my dad's side. My mom's last name is Juarez, so really my name is Jacqueline Marie Spencer Juarez. So, yeah, I can speak Spanish. Fun fact, whenever we grew up, I actually went to school first in Mexico. Yo fui al kinder primero en, en México para poder aprender, para poder aprender español. Um, fue mi primer lenguaje y sigue siendo. So what I just said is that I, what I just said is that I first went to school in Mexico because my parents wanted me to learn Spanish first before enrolling in pre-k So I first went to kinder in, in Mexico and I learned Spanish and it was my first language And it continues to be my first language between my family. We always speak Spanish to one another And yeah in our household throughout this whole time. It's always been Spanish and even till this day I just only speak Spanish. I talk to my parents my siblings Even my boyfriend, you know, we all talk in Spanish I have so many like one thing that I miss about moving here to New York is that I really miss like really good authentic you know just home cooked Mexican food I'm not a big cooker as you guys know I only just like to bake like sweets and stuff um, but one of my favorite plates that's a tough one I'm a really big fan of mole if I if you know how to make like really really good bomb mole then you basically have like the weight in my heart I'm obsessed with mole I love mole and the fun thing the funny thing um, growing up I actually hated mole I could not stand you know I couldn't just even fathom the taste of it and growing up I like actually grew to like it love it I mean obviously it's now my favorite plate but I, I also have a couple other ones so I'm actually gonna mention more than one in this one i really love enchiladas um aside from mole so enchiladas are also growing up i love enchiladas um i would have to say red enchiladas over green enchiladas i don't know comment down below which one you are but i love salsa roja i love i actually don't like them I don't know, my mom has like a specific way of like making enchiladas. She actually doesn't roll them. They're actually just flat. I'll try to insert a picture if I have them. But a lot of people actually like nobody tells me that they eat them like this because people actually eat enchiladas usually rolled in like beef or cheese or something like that. And growing up, I actually never had them like that. So obviously capirotada can be eaten as a dessert as it is sweet. But I'm going to list a different one. <laughs> 
but my favorite dessert is actually choco flan so if you've never had flan or if you've had a flan it's similar to flan but it has like another layer of like a chocolate so it's the chocolate and then the flan and it's super super good again this tastes so good once it's once it's refrigerated there's so many honestly <laughs> A sarape, I don't have one here obviously, but a sarape, I'll let I'll like insert a picture here. Definitely reminds me of my culture. Um especially just because growing on a border town, we would always go and get artesanias. If you don't know what artesanias are, they're just like little gifts that are made and that resemble kind of like where you're from. Um, so definitely around my house, my mom was like really big into decor and we've had sarapes just to use as blankets and excuse me um oftentimes these are just like handmade so it makes it even more special and more authentic so definitely a sarape i think that resembles like the mexican culture and yeah it's funny um so growing up my furniture i don't think it did i feel like maybe the couches and maybe the beds did i feel like now that i live on my own i don't i'm not really big into like keeping the plastic covers on furniture i mean i am really like clean and stuff but no um just i just am really careful not to dirty my stuff but growing up definitely oh uh, that's a tough one actually i think the last time that i visited my country was like two was it two years ago it's about two to three years ago which has been a long long time i do love going back and i miss and i talk to my family all the time and i really want to go back and visit and visit my grandma because you know every time that i go to her house it just brings back so much memories and especially going to somewhere where you grew up it's really bittersweet and i enjoy every moment I mean, me encanta ir a Chihuahua, Chihuahua. So if you guys don't know what I just said, I love to go to Chihuahua, Chihuahua. It's such a really cool, modern, well, a certain part of it is like modern um, part of Chihuahua. And I love just the culture. Everyone's so nice. Um, there's so much to do. There's so much everything. I will say, okay, that's completely different. But yeah, uh, for a couple years, I was going like every other month or so or every other couple months and it's so fun it's it's really such a beautiful place and i have like family that lives over there still and i just love chihuahua i also love okinaga but i feel like okinaga is more of a like smaller town and there's not really much to do but other than like spend time with family and eat the bomb food BLF. yes i visited uh, the capital I actually went there two years ago, I believe it's been now, and oh my god, so we literally had, so I think it was just like a weekend trip, it was a quick trip, we went to um, La Casa de Frida, we went to, where else did we go, we had some, like El Morro Churros, we had, we went to Teotihuacan, did the pyramids, which was super fun. We didn't get to eat in the restaurant that's like in the little cave there because it was so busy and it was like a two, three hour wait and we were so tired. Um, we had all kinds of different food. We just kind of ventured around. But yeah, long story short, yes, I did visit on our last day. We went to go eat at a restaurant and we all ended up getting food poisoning, which was like the day we were coming back. So that's when I was living in Dallas. And let me tell you, Having food poisoning in a whole different country, having to get on a flight, go to an airport is the worst thing ever. Like it kind of, I'm so glad it, it didn't happen while we were, like I'm glad it happened on the last day that we were there because it would have ruined our trip. So fun fact, actually, I love, I don't know, I don't think reggaeton is part of like what reminds me of my country even though it is played all the time and I listened to it growing up I feel like definitely like rancheras, cumbias, um, yeah, just any type of cumbia or a good ranchera definitely reminds me of my roots and where I'm from So I will say I have visited Cancun but I, I visited when I was really really young um, and I feel like I 
didn't really i mean i enjoyed it but i would definitely enjoy more now that i'm older so i would definitely want to go back um i remember we did a couple activities and it was so much fun the beach is beautiful but like i said i can't remember i think it was like gosh i genuinely can't remember i think it was fourth grade fifth grade no maybe i think i was in sixth grade when i went so it's been a long time and i would love to go back and that's it's like one of the most beautiful beaches i would definitely have to say rebelde if you guys didn't listen to rebelde growing up like i'm pretty sure everybody did like that was the big i don't even know what to compare it to it's like maybe like high school musical i don't know but i was so into rebelde literally that was my first concert i would always watch the novela i was rooting for mia mia was like my all-time favorite um and yeah that's definitely something that brings me back to my memories i remember there was like a collection in mexico where you would collect the stickers and you would find a different sticker i think it was in a bag of chips or I'm not mistaken where I'm not sure where I can't remember but I would collect them all so yeah fun fact that was actually like a really big childhood memory for me I definitely want to carry on the tradition for my kids to learn Spanish at a young age and that doesn't necessarily mean you know sending them off to school in Mexico not that there's anything wrong with that because that's personally like what I did but it was completely different because it was just literally right across the border um, but I definitely want them to learn Spanish at a very young age be able to not, even, not only speak it but also write it fluently um, and most importantly I want them to be proud of where they are or who they are and you know be proud of their roots be proud of their culture um i know that's something that i was always taught is to be not to be ashamed of like where you come from so that's definitely something that i want to pass on to my children so one phrase that i actually still use today and I would say it all the time, my siblings and I growing up is no manches, so no manches is kind of like, uh, I'm trying to describe it in English, it's kind of like, I don't know, like it's hard, like no manches, uh, why are you doing that, like, kind of like dude, what are you doing, I don't know, kind of in a way, I don't know, it's just hard to describe in English, but no manches is something that I still use to this day, like between my siblings and I, I'm always like, no manches, como vas a hacer eso, no manches, por qué hiciste, Porque me dijiste eso. No manches, porque no vas a ir. No manches, porque... Like, I, we always say no manches. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a fun video. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you think are. If you're also a fellow Latina, let me know your nationality down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.